Hello everyone, Teo here, back again with another fountain pen review. Benu, a fountain pen company from Russia, sent me two pens for me to review and to show you guys. So these are from the Euphoria series, which they are going to release on October 15, 2020. Today we'll just look at this particular model. This is the Tropical Voyage. Banu pens are known for their attention-grabbing, flashy, sparkly designs. I have reviewed many of their pens on my YouTube channel and blog before. You can check out the earlier reviews through the links that I have for you in the video description below. At the time of this video, there are 11 designs you can choose from. Three can glow in the dark. Official retail price for the non-glow version is US $118. The glow-in-the-dark version is an extra $10, so that's $128. I'm not sure if shipping is included. You have to find out from their website. I'll put the link in the video description below. This pen looks very flashy with all the sparkly bits in it. Now, this is definitely going to get you some attention if you are using this in the public. The blue looks like ultramarine mixed with cerulean and there is this illusion of um, shimmering particles. The green physical bits, um, they look like phthalo or emerald green colors and they reflect light at different angles. Very nice. The pen has a stainless steel clip and there is this line here that separates the top from the bottom of the cap. The cap and the barrel, um, they have 10 sides. And that's how the top looks. So this pen, it's polished to a high gloss. Banu logo is here at the bottom of the cap. And you can see the design, the lines, they continue from the cap to the bottom of the barrel. Although for this particular pen, the line is slightly misaligned. The misalignment is probably half a millimeter. It's not that obvious unless you are looking for it. So this is a pretty big pen compared to the Pelican M200 fountain pen that I am using. You can see it's about an inch longer and also the body is much thicker. So this is a screw on type of cap. The Euphoria pens are available with either ballpoint or fountain pen nibs. For fountain pen, they have fine, medium, and broad. For ballpoint, they are using this disposable Schneider Top Ball 850. The point size is 0.5 millimeter, made in Germany, and this particular color is blue. The ink is not pigmented, so it's not going to be waterproof. You can use this to write and draw, but don't add water over the ink. Advantages of the ballpoint, they are easy to replace, but in the long run, they are more expensive because you have to keep buying the refills. Advantages of the fountain pen, you have access to a huge variety of inks you can use. You can use waterproof inks as well as non-waterproof inks basically the dye base inks which will give you access to a huge variety of colors. Downside of fountain pens, well, they do need cleaning once in a while. This refill should be quite easy to find either at stationery shops or online. Now, since I draw quite often, I would use up something like this uh, pretty quickly. There is a little spring right at the back here to give you some spring when you are writing. The grip section has three sides for your index, middle, and thumb. The pen is quite comfortable to hold and build quality is solid. The resin body is uh, very solid and you can post the cap behind, in which case the pen and the cap, it's going to look really long. Now this pen is not that heavy, but with the cap behind, it does uh, push the weight to the back. So when I'm writing or drawing, I usually do it without the cap. This pen writes and draw very smoothly. The roller ball point, it's very smooth on the paper. Just remember that this ink, it's not waterproof. So don't use watercolor over the ink. 
Rollerball points have the tendency to produce ink blobs, so be careful about that. Or you may want the ink blobs because they are very characteristic of um, rollerball point pens. Sometimes I do like the ink blobs because they um, they make your sketch look more sketchy. The ink from the Snyder Top Ball 850, it does not feather. And the edges, they are sharp. The lines will have consistent width since this is a ballpoint pen. Not sure if you notice the ink blobs, but there are some. So when you're using this pen outdoors, it will definitely draw attention to the pen or to whatever you are writing or drawing. That's just the way it is when you are using a Banu pen. This is a good pen. Now this is definitely not suitable for people who prefer something more discreet. But if you want a pen that looks a bit more different compared to other pens that you already have, um, this is something you can consider. The pricing US $118, I think it's quite reasonable for a pen uh, like this. Although I would prefer to go with the fountain pen nib instead of the rollerball. Oh, before you go, I just want to let you know that I am giving away this pen, this pen that you are looking at right now. So just join the giveaway using the link in the video description below and you may be the lucky winner to win this beautiful pen. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye.